My name is Emma Johnson, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Psychiatry here at Washington University School of Medicine. A major focus of my current research is really trying to understand the connections between co-occurring psychiatric disorders and other health conditions. Is there some common genetic vulnerability that potentially makes someone more vulnerable to experiencing chronic pain and also makes them potentially more likely to develop an opioid use disorder? A team of us at WashU, myself, Simone Hartunian, and Arpana Agrawal, we're really excited to find out that we won the Illumina Polygenic Risk Score Research Contest Award. We have this large study at Washington University, it's called P5, Personalized Prediction of Persistent Post-Surgical Pain. And we're collecting longitudinal data in patients undergoing surgery. And one piece that was missing specifically is introducing genetic risks or polygenic risks into a model that can predict which patients are more likely to develop chronic pain and develop opioid use after surgery. And it's interesting that these two are so different from each other. A polygenic risk score is a number that represents a person's relative genetic risk or liability for a trait or a disease. It's very interesting seeing that separation. Yeah. Polygenic risk scores are an incredible tool for us to be able to take what you're finding in a large study and study in smaller samples the effect of genetic risk. Now we'll have the opportunity to comprehensively analyze data from about 1,000 patients who underwent surgery and have long-term follow-up about pain and analgesic use and mental health uh, outcomes, etc., and to actually see whether there is um, genetic variability that contributes to the risk. We need to keep in mind that an individual's genotype, along with the environment that they experience, together in concert are going to influence their liability to developing problems with opioids as well as the likelihood of chronic pain. And what we're aiming to do is understand how these problems that are pervasive in the world impact a large number of different populations. The way we can get there is by engaging our global partners and ensuring that the genetic research we do is equitable. My hope is that giving people a better understanding of the genetic and biological underpinnings of opioid use disorder would decrease stigma and increase understanding and empathy. I think the great thing about this Illumina Award is that it's enabling these interdisciplinary collaborations to really tackle this big problem of, you know, how do we manage chronic pain post-surgery but also try to prevent as many cases of opioid use disorder as we can.